We are all guilty of it, you know, just endlessly scrolling on our phones. It can be easy to lose track of time. Jacqueline Lee is with ABC and she has tips on how you and your kids can break that bad habit. Many of us won't go anywhere without our phones, but it may be a problem if you can't be without it. More than half of Americans say that they are addicted to their devices, according to a study from reviews.org. And people spend an average about four and a half hours on their phones every day, and that's gone up over 30% from 2022. CNET's Abrar Alhidi says you may have an unhealthy relationship with your phone if you are constantly checking it even when you're out with family and friends, and if you tend to reach for your phone instead of processing difficult feelings. There's a temporary high of getting likes or posting something or consuming something, but it hasn't changed anything about your reality, and that's what people need to really focus on sometimes. If you're looking to break the habit, Alhidi says to start by looking at your phone's screen time tools. That'll tell you how much time you're spending on your device. That's a really good wake up call and reality check. You can use focus modes available on both Android and iPhone. What that does is it allows you to essentially set a window for when you're at work or when you're with friends or with family. And during that block of time that you can set, you won't get notifications from certain apps, but you can still get important calls and texts. Alhidi says buying a physical alarm clock can also help. The benefit of that is that you're not looking at your phone the first thing when you wake up and the last thing at night. You're not checking TikTok or Instagram one more time before you go to sleep, which usually eats up like an hour or more of time. And finally, if there are certain apps that are tempting for you, remove them from your home screen or delete them altogether. It sounds like a simple thing, but it's actually really, really helpful. It's kind of out of sight, out of mind. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Los Angeles.